Welcome back everybody, my name is Rupert and in today's video we're continuing the tips and tricks tutorial series by going over the second of the setups for the Cayo Perico heist. Uh, that's right, today we'll be walking through all the scenarios for collecting the piece of equipment used to cut through the glass on Cayo. I'm talking of course about the plasma cutter. But first, as always, if you like this video, feel free to leave a comment, click the thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe. Alright, so in one of my latest tips and tricks videos, I walk through the approach vehicle setup. Today, we'll be walking through the very next setup category for the Kyle Heist, which is the equipment component. To get things started, as always, you'll need to head to your sub and the setup screen. When you select the equipment category, you'll notice four setup missions. You do not, I repeat, do not need to complete the demolition charges setup. This is a complete waste and provides nothing of value when completing the heist. So simply select the plasma cutter mission and exit the sub. Now for each of these setups, there's usually three varieties for each. And this is the case for the plasma cutter. I'll be going through all the varieties to explain the tips and tricks for each, but basically they're all the same. You need to first head to the hideout. In this case, we're heading to South Los Santos, namely the strawberry location, where we need to take a picture. And just as a reminder, my vehicle of choice for all these missions is going to be the Oppressor Mark II. If you're a newbie and your goal is making money, you're definitely going to want to purchase the Mark II. It is still, hands down, the best vehicle in the game for grinding money, even with the recent increase in cost. Okay, so once you arrive at the Strawberry location, just head inside. And in case you're wondering, no, there's no gunfight here, only picture taking. Alright, when you get inside, you need to take a picture of the planning board. The location will be in one of two places. Option 1 will be located here. And here's the first biggest tip. You do not need to walk any farther than the desk in front of you. If the planning board is here, just walk to the left side of the desk, pull out your camera, take the shot, send to Pavel, and leave. Bam. Done. You should be in and out in seconds. Option 2 for the planning board will be around the corner located here. And this is why I say walk to the desk, because for this option you need to be at least this far to be able to see it. Because it's around the corner. As soon as you're at the desk, same thing as before. Take the picture, send to Pavel, and leave. Again, the whole piece of this setup should take only seconds. Okay, after you leave, you need to head to a location to pick up the plasma cutter. If your picture-taking activity was in Strawberry, like ours is here, you'll need to head to Del Perro over by the Ferris wheel. When you get to this location, here's my second tip. You always want to approach the gang from the west. What I do is fly next to this staircase-looking building here and then make sure you're not too high. When you're in this position here, it does two things. First, it allows you to kill not only the NPCs along the road, but the one or two that are always hiding in the foyer of this building. If you're too high, you won't kill them and this is where you ultimately need to go to collect the plasma cutter. The second reason is that it will potentially block the gunfire from the NPCs arriving by car from the north. Staying close to the building will sometimes shield you until you can lock on and eliminate them. And that's it! Simply drop down, fly in to grab the duffel bag, and then make your way back to the sub. So, as I mentioned earlier, there's three varieties of this setup. The next version has you heading to La Mesa, or La Mesa, or as I like to call it, the one spot that has those two big garbage bins. If you have to fly here, again, it's going to be the exact same picture-taking activities as shown earlier. The only difference is where you'll have to travel once you've taken the photo. For this specific location, you need to head to a back alley in the Rockford Hills area. And here's my last tip. When using the Mark II, always ensure it's fully loaded with missiles because for these next two varieties, you're going to be unleashing a firestorm. And not because there's an overabundance of resistance, it's because the enemy NPCs in these areas are often hiding in corners, behind dumpsters, or anywhere else that's potentially hidden. So when you go in, go in hot. Even if it means blowing up vehicles that have already been blown up. The idea here is that the blowback will kill everyone in the area, including those sneaky ones. Okay, so once you arrive, what I like to do is hug this wall here, which will allow you a little more line of sight when taking out the NPCs. Once in position, make sure your trigger finger's especially itchy and begin the show. And just keep firing as you slowly move forward. Once you see a clear path to the duffel bag, you can swoop in, pick it up, and then quickly exit with either zero or minimal damage. All right, the last variety for this setup is gonna take you to JJ's Forklift Repair Shop, which is also located in Strawberry. Again, like the previous two, the first part of the setup will be the same. Head inside to collect the photos and then leave. 
If you get this location, the plasma cutter will also be located in the Rockford Hills area. Just another office building and just another back alley. However, this back alley is a little easier than the last because there's no blind corners. It's basically a clear shot right through. So when you arrive, same mentality as before. Put your best Rambo disguise on, grab an unhealthy dose of trigger finger, and let loose with so many exploding missiles it's going to make your local military cry like a baby. Once the aftermath of destruction is over and the plumes of gunpowder rain gently over the carnage below, swoop in to steal the duffel bag and then head back to the sub. Okay, so that's it my friends. Thank you for watching. If you found better ways to complete the plasma cutter setup mission, by all means, drop a comment below and let everyone know. Until next time, be happy, be well, be safe, be mighty, be the one. Oh, maestro.